In this video we're quickly going to make the linkage peg for our model train which basically goes through the linkage arms and will connect up to the wheels on our train. So to make this one we just got to file, make a new document, use the metric templates and a standard millimetre part. From there we're going to start a 2D sketch and we're going to do it on the YZ plane once again. So that would be this one over here. So just move the center point off to the side there, grab your line tool, and we're going to kind of draw a line straight down, 180 degrees down, with a size of 8 mils. Come across to the right at 90 degrees, and you want to do this width 0 0.8, so quite small. Then we're going to come up again at 90 degrees, and we're going to go up 6 mil, press enter. And then just come across to the right, doesn't matter what size, just click your mouse and press escape to finish off that line. Now what we need to do is dimension this line here. So grab the corner of that line and click on the left side of the shape. Come down the bottom and the dimension I want you to type in. Zoom out a bit here so you can see it. Now the dimension you want to type in there is 3 millimeters. and press enter. Okay, we're going to make an arc now, so grab your arc tool, click on the first point, which is the very top of the shape, click on your second point, which is the far right hand side of your shape, and just move your mouse up and down and you'll see that you're getting an arc. Okay, the arc needs to be 4 millimeters. press enter, and your shape's done. Finish your sketch, uh, go up to the revolve feature in your ribbon there, Choose Axis and select this left hand side of the shape. Click OK and you've got your linkage peg made. Just to give it a bit of colour I'm going to go up to the Appearance panel here and I'm going to search for Wood. I'm going to choose the same colour as my linkage arm which was this White Oak Natural. So click and drag over the top of your peg, click on the White Oak and press the up arrow to apply it and you've now got a little linkage peg made for your train. Save that up and I'll see you in the next video.